will clear out by Sunday. Looks like some drier air moving in and cooler air moving in, but stay tuned tomorrow. Just okay. when the weekend is ending. What's up with that? We well, right. thank you, Veronica. Thanks, Veronica. Updating now our top story, NATO now says that a U.S. F-16 fighter our radar here, you can see that the shower and thunderstorms most of the evening have been found across eastern Pennsylvania, moving up towards uh, Sullivan County, New York, parts of Orange County as well. And again, another band of showers just approaching Philadelphia. That's probably going to move into the city, I think, about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. But the real heavy weather has been out in Texas and uh, parts of Oklahoma tonight where severe thunderstorms continue, and a severe thunderstorm watch is up there. You can see those thunderstorms. And you can also see a line of thunderstorms. This line goes all the way from Florida across the Carolinas, right up the eastern seaboard, and wouldn't you know it again, aiming for our part of the country. And eventually, again, that line of shower and thunderstorm activity uh, should be affecting us a good part of uh, tomorrow afternoon on into tomorrow evening. Off and on in the morning, but the best chance is going to be later on tomorrow afternoon. Here's the brighter clouds here. These are the thunderstorms extending up into the lower Hudson Valley. And here's the wide radar where you get a better picture of all the rain in the northeast. A band again moving up towards central parts of New York and New England. And this is the area here that's going to get us probably about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. And then we'll get a break about maybe 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. And then the worst part will come in later on in the afternoon. Two systems coming in, a front from Canada, another weak system coming in from Ohio. And again, that area of shower and thunderstorm activity you just saw on the radar. By tomorrow, that area continues to move on to the east, and again, we'll see more of that shower and thunderstorm activity uh, popping up with the most severe, I think, likely tomorrow afternoon when we'll get the biggest clash from these two air masses, the warm and humid air to our south, and the cool and dry air dropping down from Canada. And again, we'll keep you posted on that because it could be a real rough afternoon, but the good news is, Rosanna, that by Sunday, dry air moves in, so the rest of the weekend should be improving. Certainly, I think by about noontime on Sunday, you'll be seeing more sunshine. If you're getting away, well, you might want to take your time tomorrow with the showers and thunderstorms around there. Near 80, most places. Again, the best threat for severe weather later tomorrow afternoon, but it should turn a bit breezy and dry out and turn cooler in the mountains on Sunday. Low 70s, partly sunny skies, and mid to even a few upper 70s as you head to the shore. But tomorrow at the shore, 72 to 78 degrees. Look out for showers and thunderstorms. Winds out of the southwest at 15 knots, about four foot seas on the ocean, running about two foot on the sound, and the water temperature creeping up now, 57 to 62 degrees. Here's my forecast for New York City overnight. Showers and some thunderstorms, fog as well, especially out on the island. It's pretty soupy there right now. 69 the low in the city, 64 to 69 north and west, and some lower 60s when you're stuck in that fog bank on the island. A few showers and thunderstorms will be around wake-up time, humid about 71. We'll get a break. There still could be a few scattered storms around around lunchtime, 78 degrees and a humid high of 83 tomorrow. But then late in the day, severe thunderstorms, a good possibility, so be on the lookout. Joe Moreno will keep you posted on that tomorrow, 79 during the evening. Here's your five-day forecast, and you'll see on that that we'll be looking for a basically improvement on Sunday, about 79 degrees with partly sunny skies. Gorgeous on Monday, wouldn't you know? You should go back to work. And 82 for Tuesday with another threat of thunderstorms coming in later on Wednesday. So that's our latest on the weather. Again, sort of a one-for-two weekend, and Joe will keep you posted on that severe weather tomorrow afternoon. John? All righty. Thank you, sir. The Museum of Natural History has put a new face on some very old bones. The all new. Roughly about 70 to 75 miles from town. John Frassi with the shot, 42nd Street. We do a 70. Humidity 78%. The winds are subtly at 6. Today's high 78, and today's low in at 66 degrees. All right. For us, the bottom line really is the game tomorrow. We've got it on Channel 11, scattered showers and thunder showers any time throughout the day. Temperatures will be in the upper 70s, 78 for a high game time, 1.35 p.m. Let's talk about it. Getting clobbered up and over the reservoirs. Raining Scranton, Avoca, into Williamsport. Raining down in Washington and Virginia. And all of that's kicking slowly but steadily southwest to northeast. Radar is in motion. And you'll see the action. It's really up and down the eastern seaboard. Here it comes. And that's going to take care of business around here on Saturday. Cold air punches down from the north. Tropical air up from the south. Once that cold air gets closer and closer and hits that tropical air, bang, thunderstorms could be severe after 3 o'clock till about 7, 8 o'clock. And then the dry air should win out on Sunday, Sunday should be the best day of the weekend in terms of temperatures around here. They'll hold in the 70s, probably right through the weekend, flirting with 80 degrees on Sunday. Let's talk about Sunday, another baseball game. We've got it on this station. We take you to the stadium. And again, for Sunday, the forecast goes for partly sunny skies. That one will be for the Yankee game, and temperatures will be right around 80 degrees. That is Sunday. Again, Sunday, the best day of the weekend. So the forecast for the remainder of the night, cloudy and humid showers, maybe a thunder shower, especially after 3 a.m., 65 to 70. For tomorrow, play ball, very iffy.
Murphy. Scattered showers, thunder showers may be severe after 3 o'clock, 80 to 85 degrees. Your five-day forecast goes like this, and I'll tell you what, once we get rid of the action, the cold front crosses. Watch Sunday, it's golden. Watch Monday, it's abundant. And watch Tuesday, it's azure, blue skies. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, temperatures will be in the 80s. So right now, the action zone, the flashpoint will be on Saturday, but I like Sunday, I like Monday, I like Tuesday, I like your outfit. Well, thank you. You'd like I like to borrow yours. your car. <laughs> <laughs> Go on and on. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Save it for Sunday. Bill, can you wait a day? All right, 71 degrees outside right now, relative humidity at 74%, the barometer steady at this point. And again, south winds at 7 miles per hour. The thunderstorms are not right on top of us now. There are going to be a few early scattered thunder showers, and then tomorrow they'll really build into several lines of strong thunderstorms. So be aware if you're outdoors tomorrow. 78 degrees, that was our warmest number today. 66 where we started earlier in the morning. Let's take a look at the numbers around town right now, including 68 degrees in the northern corners to 67 out toward the end of the island, 69 degrees on the Jersey shoreline. All of us are very close to those numbers, 67 even in Danbury, Connecticut, normally cooler spot. Clouds and lots of them shoved up on the eastern coast, and it's likely that we're going to be under those clouds. Clouds and lots of it, thank you, are shoved all along the eastern coast. That's just our little signal to go to the satellite picture. Plenty of these clouds, it took a while to get them <laughs> up and down the coastline, but now that we're in them, we don't leave them until early Saturday, well, actually early Sunday morning at best. There will be a couple of breaks early Saturday as some drier air tries to wedge in here, but that won't take long, but fill all those places in with big thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, it's likely. Anyway, next red precision radar has been finding them and spotting the heavy thunderstorms and thunder showers well off to our west and to our south. These are the kind of storms that can deliver one to three inches of rain in a very quick and short period of time. They have also been involved a lot of cloud to ground lightning more than normal with these strong thunderstorm cells that are down south. And these are the systems that we're going to be watching because these are the ones that will weaken overnight and then re redevelop in the heat of tomorrow with all that warm air mass as a cold front comes through here. So you've really got to take it easy tomorrow afternoon if you're outdoors and watch those skies. Again, get inside as soon as the skies darken. Don't wait because it can only take a minute or two for those dangerous thunderstorms to develop and you'll get caught out there in one. 66 degrees, that's the overnight low temperature in the morning low. 84 degrees is what we're likely to see as an afternoon high temperature, but that steam heat, not a whole lot of sunshine delivering tomorrow. 66 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, some scattered showers in the morning, but then those lines of thunderstorms will redevelop in the afternoon and they'll be intense when they get here. It's likely we'll have a severe thunderstorm. Watch out. Sunday afternoon is the golf day of choice for the weekend, Bill. 78 degrees is the high temperature and the skies will be clear. He I'll says, wait till Sunday. Yeah, All right. He says you can caddy for him. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. <laughs> when we come back, they're at the top of their class. Two graduates have one school seat double. <laughs> Earlier today, actually by tomorrow afternoon, we may see a little bit, but things could get a little serious around here. We're seeing some severe weather pop up over Pennsylvania tonight, and it is headed toward our area. I'll show you that in a moment. Right now, the clouds seem to be thickening in some parts of the area. It's partly sunny, it's muggy, and it's warm. 80 degrees right now. Winds out of the south at 7 miles per hour. Relative humidity at 58%. Barometer holding steady. The high today officially at Central Park was 83 degrees. Some areas were a little bit warmer. Low of 68 Precipitation, just a few drops this morning, 0.01. Right now, the temperatures around the tri-state area near the shore in the 70s, inland in the 80s, and even inland sections of New Jersey, only at 80 degrees because of thick cloud cover moving in with the storms. As we take a look at our neighborhood weather net station out of Lyndhurst High School in Lyndhurst, New Jersey, it's 83 degrees there. The clouds getting thick on that side. Relative humidity up to 57%, and winds right now out of the south to southwest, about 8 miles per hour. All right, we go back to the maps now to see what's happening on Next Red 4. We have a line of severe storms right now entering eastern Pennsylvania near Scranton and about to enter the Poconos. Also getting close to Warren and Sussex counties in uh, northern sections of New Jersey. And they're all moving east, that red and yellow shaded area indicating very strong thunderstorm activity. A severe thunderstorm watch is in effect for most of Pennsylvania and parts of Maryland, but not for the tri-state area just yet. It could happen. This watch is in effect until 11 p.m. They've been seeing very strong storms and severe weather around Pittsburgh this evening, so we'll have to be on the lookout for that tonight. We've got strong storms in the forecast tonight, temperatures in the 60s. Some of these storms could produce hail in the area between uh, 7 or 8 o'clock this evening and midnight tonight. Tomorrow morning, a few leftover showers. Temperatures in the 70s, still rather mild, but winds turn around to the north. By tomorrow afternoon, out of the northeast to east-northeast, we'll see some clearing and temperatures upper 70s to near 80 degrees. 
most of the rain should be out of the area then, but we will still have clouds here and there, and maybe the relative humidity will not be quite so much a factor. Now, so tomorrow, maybe a few showers in the morning, temperature near 80 degrees, sunshine in the afternoon. Monday, Tuesday looking good, highs upper 70s to near 80. More storms for Wednesday, a little bit cooler by Thursday. We'll continue to have updates to the rest of tonight if necessary. Also tonight at 11 on the severe weather, as well as Tropical Storm Allison, which could affect uh, Florida. Yeah. Okay. Coming up soon. Something All right, watch yes. for. We'll check with you at 11. Right. Thanks. Thanks. Yankees in the midst of a home stand. Vince in the midst of covering all the sports. Here yes, we are. It Right, and it's sitting just off to our west. Today is a lot like Memorial Day was, if you can remember that, where it was pretty warm and muggy for much of the day. Then the thunderstorms rolled in later, and they will roll into the tri-state area in just a couple of hours. As of right now, we sit at 80 degrees, relative humidity 58%, so indeed, it is quite sticky out there. We've just been sitting in a sauna all day long. The winds out of the south at 7 miles per hour, the low 68 the high 83 degrees and we'll waste no time let's take a look at the radar and see what's going on it is quiet now across the tri-state area but look at what is west of the area there's a couple of lines of thunderstorms that have been rolling through portions of Pennsylvania Harrisburg Pittsburgh around Wilkesbury right down to areas of Washington DC and there is a thunderstorm watch out for this area until 11 p.m. this evening because of the thunderstorms again they're all advancing to the east it's quiet now across the area a few scattered showers moving through just east of Trenton getting ready to exit the coastline but again much more is expected during the next couple of hours most of these storms the lines have been moving through coming out of western Ohio and uh, eastern Ohio as well as western Pennsylvania. It's moving to the northeast. These storms have had a history of producing some very heavy rain in a short period of time and some gusty winds and that is what we can expect. As of now it looks like most of this rain will work into the area around 8 p.m. and the thunderstorms are likely to last up until midnight. The weather system itself still back to our west pretty far away and until it completely moves through well we can expect to see some rain throughout the area. The thunderstorm should begin winding down around midnight, but that rain will at least last until 7 a.m. Widely scattered showers until the system moves completely through. Want to tell you about the spring rainfall. It has been much below normal for the entire viewing area. We have to look to Mercer County to find the only area that's been near normal, but we are due to pick up a lot of rain with this weather system because it's done just that. It's been producing some heavy rain. Expect a fourth to a two. Nice morning out there. Let's take a look outside. Sunny skies. We do have a few scattered clouds. The temperature is 73 degrees right now. Our winds are out of the northwest at 7 miles per hour. Relative humidity 65%. Just want to make sure you saw that view. Here I am. Barometer steady at 29.95. We had some big storms in the area last night. They've cleared out for now. Temperatures right now mainly in the 70s across the area. Sparta at 70. Queens also. Islip at 73 degrees, and in Island it's 73 degrees. And as we take a check of our neighborhood weather net, taking you right now to Hewlett High School in Hewlett Bay Park, New York on Long Island, it is 71 at this hour. Winds are out of the north to northwest. They're pretty brisk at 13 miles per hour, and the relative humidity at 72%. There's been some areas of fog in parts of the region as well this morning. And we'll look at cloud cover now on our satellite review. The storms from last night, here they are, and look at how fast they moved offshore. They're way out into the Atlantic this morning and it did only took about four hours for those storms to move from Connecticut, uh, from Pennsylvania through the tri-state area last night. They moved rather rapidly. Back behind that system we still have some low clouds this morning associated with that. To the north it is mostly fair this morning. Some light rain, light drizzle and fog in New England around Boston and also southern New England and parts of Rhode Island. Today here though across our area we're looking for sunshine mixed with clouds and maybe a stray light rain shower. Temperatures today mainly from the mid 70s near the shore to the mid 80s farther inland. It's going to be a beautiful day around the area. So nice day to get out but take along a little jacket maybe an umbrella just in case you get a little sprinkle here. And there. Right? Okay sounds good. Well at least it cleared off yesterday. At least it did yeah. for a while until the storms came last Yeah. Oh, Thanks Janice. Sure. Okay, squash is played by 15 million people around the world, and the numbers are set to be growing. Right here in the United States, there are more than a half million regular and occasional players. North of Tampa, Florida, along the coast, up to Apalachicola, Florida, that means that tropical storm conditions could present themselves, could present itself to that area within the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. So they're watching to see what happens. The winds up to 60 miles an hour uh, with that storm. 
A lot of heavy rain. It rained very heavily in the Cayman Islands and along the Yucatan Peninsula in Cuba with that storm system. Right now, temperatures across our area are in the 70s, a few mid-60s across the region. Next red four showing some light rain showers still persisting along the New England coast uh, near Cape Cod. Otherwise, we've got scattered clouds mixed with sunshine here. There's Allison with thunderstorms moving to the go uh, Gulf Coast of Florida. So for us today, mostly to partly sunny. We'll say a mixture of sun and clouds and maybe a shower might show up. There's a slight chance for that. Temperatures today, mid-70s along the coast. And with enough sunshine, we'll warm to the mid-80s elsewhere. So it'll be nice. It should be a very pleasant day. Like spinach Here. isn't bad enough. What? And now there's got to be fly eggs in it. I'm stuck on that too. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no. gonna, I guess it won't be bad. What's the one with the uh, the eggs benedict with the spinach sauce? You're not going to be having that. No. no. All no. right. Yeah. It is the largest professional squash tournament in North America, and it is being Florida coast. Forca forecasters tell us that this is the earliest a named hurricane has ever come across the Florida Gulf Coast. Across the panhandle, businesses and homes are buttoning up. Mobile homes and campers are pulling out. Before, before we rode them out, and it was only going to be going to be a tropical storm. This one they, it's gone to a hurricane, so you know, goodbye. A steady stream of northbound cars has clogged roads all day. Barrier islands like St. George have been ordered evacuated. Mostly water and um, styrofoam cups and juice and anything that doesn't have to be cooked or refrigerated. Bottled water and batteries are in short supply. This store was expecting another 500 gallons of water before nightfall. Well, that's all I can get. Boaters along the Gulf were moving inland if their boats were too big to pull out of the water. Otherwise, everything was coming out. We're just trying to get our possessions out of here so we can get out of here. You know, we don't know what it's going to do to this. And in our yard, it may blow it away. But at least we won't have to find it up the river. Now, the last time that a storm came ashore early in June was June 9, 1966. That was Hurricane Alma. That storm landed about 25 miles to the west of here. Now, as we told you, people with boats everywhere are trying to get them out of the water and to safety. There's one boat in this yacht basin named the Lucky Dog. And sure, certainly anyone who's facing this storm tonight hopes they feel that way tomorrow morning. Ralph, Andrea, back to you. All right, Mike, and with our... Uh Weather reporter Janice Huff listening in here. Uh, is there a possibility of that uh, hurricane turning north and heading toward us? Uh, the storm is 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 close right now. Once it, are you talking? Let him answer. Oh, yeah. okay. Mike. Yes. Well, as far as we know, the storm is headed right for Apalachicola. It could veer off to the uh, east just a little bit, taking it into St. Mark's, which is also where the last early storm came ashore uh, uh, since, uh, since 1966. In 1971, there was a mid-June storm that went ashore in St. Mark's, which is to, to the east of here. So what happens after it crosses Florida, if it could get back out into the Atlantic and strengthen and head your way, who knows? Okay, Mike, thank you. So what is oh, that sorry, Ralph. <laughs> no, no, that's all right. You well, were answering the question. The yeah. storm is moving into the Florida coast. Now, once it moves inland, depending on the steering currents, the upper winds over the landmass over the United States right now will depend on where it goes after that. Of course, it won't be a hurricane anymore because once it makes landfall, it starts to diminish and weaken, but it can still pack a lot of punch in terms of heavy rain, thunderstorms, possibly tornadoes. Florida's in for maybe five to ten inches of rain before all of this is over with. Okay. All right, the weather here in the tri-state area is nice and pleasant. Let's take a look outside. Ooh, mostly sunny, 80 degrees, just the way we like it. Right now, the winds are out of the north at seven miles per hour, relative humidity at 28 percent. Lower, more comfortable, barometer rising 30.03. The high today was 81 after a low of 65 degrees. And no precipitation today, although at Central Park last night, about a quarter of an inch of rain when that thunderstorm moved swiftly through the area. Temperatures right now are very pleasant, mainly in the low to upper 70s, a few 80s like in Newark right now. And on our neighborhood weather net now, we check Yorktown High School uh, in Yorktown Heights, New York, to see what's happening there. The temperature is 77 degrees at this hour. Winds are very light and variable, and relative humidity at 35%. All right, we'll go back to the weather maps now. The clouds moving out of the area over the past 24 hours, the clouds that brought storms way out in the Atlantic now, away from us, 
clearing skies is what's taking place now across much of the northeast due to high pressure. Some scattered clouds left over in parts of Maine and sections of New England. To the south, we can see the huge mass of showers and storms from Hurricane Allison. A lot of that over the Gulf Coast and parts of the east coast of Florida getting heavy rain, even though the storm itself is out over the Gulf Coastal waters. Now, a hurricane warning, in effect, from just north of Tampa along the coast, all the way up the coast to Pensacola, Florida. That means evacuations, as you saw a few moments ago, taking place there. It's a minimal hurricane, so it's not actually the strongest it could be, but still, a lot of rain went to 75 miles an hour. Here in our area, nice and clear tonight. Temperatures in the 50s to low 60s tomorrow morning. Looking at sunshine, temperatures in the 70s as they go up. And by the afternoon, we're looking at high temperatures in the mid-80s in some spots along the shore. A little bit cooler, mainly in the upper 70s. And the nice weather will last through the middle of the week, actually. And Bye. then it will rain again. And then it will rain again. And then I don't have to water my garden. you don't have to water your garden. You'll be fine. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Janice. Sure. Okay, Vince, yesterday the Yanks did not make me feel too welcome. you got to talk to those guys. Yeah. We'll, we'll certainly did have quite a few this morning and you can see as we open it up there there are a lot of clouds across the southeast much tropical moisture has been streaming northward out of the gulf of mexico it all is because of hurricane allison just upgraded today to hurricane status the storm system is moving due north at 17 miles per hour it is expected to make landfall sometime tomorrow morning around 6 a.m a lot of moisture is getting pulled into the area and there's a lot of rain that's falling throughout portions of Florida and southeastern Georgia just to the east of the storm. You can see some showers overspreading the area and some bands of thunderstorms around Pensacola all the way down to Daytona Beach and West Palm Beach, Florida. I want to tell you about the storm and the path that it is expected to take again sometime tomorrow morning. It moves on shore, Tallahassee, Florida. Sometime around 6 a.m. Tuesday, the remnants of hurricane will begin moving toward Atlanta, Georgia. Georgia, it's likely that it will be downgraded to tropical storm strength once it does make landfall sometime tomorrow morning. There's a less likely path that it will, uh, or less likely chance that it will head toward Jacksonville, Florida. Nonetheless, a lot of rain is expected with the storm anywhere uh, between three and six inches from Miami over to Tallahassee, Florida, right around the western end of Florida. It's nice for the next 24 hours tonight. Pretty comfortable, 52 in town. Mostly clear and very comfortable, as I said. Tomorrow we warm up into the 80s, 82 sunny and warm 70s along the coastal areas. And tomorrow night we'll fall back down to 64 degrees. We'll begin to get some moisture from Hurricane Allison by Tuesday. There's a chance of showers and thunderstorms on Wednesday. So we're keeping our eye on the storm All right, very Faith. closely. Thanks, Faith. That'll do it for us for right now for Mark Stevens, Veronica. The brief encounter with thunderstorms last night. You might be saying to yourself, self, is Hurricane Allison going to affect our weather? Well, not certainly as a hurricane or as a tropical storm. Could get some moisture in the middle of the week uh, as rain and thunderstorms. 81 are high today and our low 65. And right now, oh my goodness, it's just lovely. We're talking temperatures in the 70s and uh, 80s. 28% relative humidity and a north wind at 7 miles an hour. Again, let's look at Hurricane Allison. It's moving north 16 miles miles an hour expected to make landfall on the Florida Peninsula tomorrow morning between 6 and 7 o'clock. We fly on Earth Watch to the north of that storm system. And again, high pressure and an absence of clouds and an abundance of sunshine dominates our weather in our area. And it's going to continue to do so for, well, the next couple of days anyway. And as we say, toward the middle of the week, we could see some moisture insinuating itself into our part of the world out of what is at the moment Hurricane Allison. When it makes landfall, by the way, it should lose its strength as a hurricane and then become just a lot of rain perhaps some thunderstorms, and there is the danger, too, of tornadoes forming, again, down along the Gulf Coast as it goes. All right, our forecast for right now, we're talking tonight, temperatures will slide in the city, upper 50s, lower 60s, inland into the 50s, going to be cool, mostly clear, and I would have to say darn comfortable for sleeping. Sunrise at 526 tomorrow morning, we'll have some clouds, but by noon, the sky will be clear and smiling down upon us in sunshine, and at 5 o'clock, still very warm, 81 degrees, but the humidity ought to be manageably, comfortably low. Lots of sunshine on your Monday and mine too. We're in this together. 84 the forecast high. Come Tuesday, it'll be partly cloudy but completely Tuesday with a high of 85. That chance of showers and thunderstorms on Wednesday could perhaps spill over into early Thursday and then clear out again for the rest of the week. It does look beautiful 
And when we get the rain in the middle of the week, we have to think we need the rain because we need the rain. We do need the we rain. We do need the rain. We okay. have to be Thank philosophic you, Ira. about it. We need the rain. Absolutely. I'll remember that on It's Wednesday. all attitude, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about striking it rich. Doing very nice with lower humidities to 81 degrees. Low this morning, 65. Record high, 99. Record low, 48 degrees. Now, the national picture, we are still focusing on Hurricane Allison still down there in the Gulf. It's making a beeline now for Apalachicola, we think. But in the northeast, we see that cold front moving off nothing but high pressure, beautiful conditions. What's this? This is the outer periphery of the hurricane. It is slowly drifting to the north, and we could see some showers out of it. But first, we'll see some gorgeous weather coming in with the passage of that frontal boundary for tomorrow. Just delightful. One of those days that you wish it were either Saturday or Sunday because it's going to be just great around here. A bit of an onshore breeze in the afternoon, a little cooler along the coast. But Hurricane Allison will be making weather news. Let's dive into the storm right now from up in space. We'll go down and we'll go into the eye of this storm. Along the coast now, Apalachicola seeing the winds right now. A lot of heavy rain coming into the coastline too. Very, very, very strong gust as well. We'll dive up now into the northeast. We see clear skies for us, but that will be changing probably late Tuesday, I think, into Wednesday. And Wednesday around the metropolitan New York City area may be kind of stormy. Here's the latest again on the Hurricane Allison. We have a hurricane warning in effect from Pensacola, Florida to Anclote Key. And then south of there to Bonita Beach, there is a tropical storm warning. That means 40 miles per hour winds while 39 technically and lower but 75 mile an hour winds in the hurricane warning area with very, very heavy rain. The storm again continues to move to the north with 75 mile an hour winds. Luckily, once that storm moves inland, it will lose its strength in wind, but lots of rain will continue. And that's what I'm worried about, folks, with this storm as it now continues to move to the north. You see the clouds now moving to the north. New York City clear, but later on that shield will come over us. And probably, as I said, late Tuesday, then into Wednesday, get the umbrella, keep it ready. All clear for tonight, 64, a little cooler in the suburbs, especially well in the north and west. Our friends way up there in Binghamton, New York, you'll see temperatures close to 50 degrees, about 64 right here in town. And then for tomorrow, a bit of an onshore breeze along the 70s, around the Hampton 78, around 85, 86 at Wayne, and perhaps as high as 86 right here in New York City. Uh, if we get that onshore breeze, though, we may not make it. Let's keep our fingers crossed. 71 degrees for your Monday morning by lunchtime. Very nice conditions. Close to 80 with a high close to 86. And by the time you drive home, about 84 with mostly sunny skies. Sun, sun, sun. Your Fox 5 five-day forecast looks pretty good except by Wednesday. High temp close to 81 overnight near 66 and Thursday as well. Temperatures pretty much nice in terms of the uh, warmth. But again, look for rains coming in Wednesday and perhaps by Thursday as well. It could get very stormy around here, of course. We'll let you know. And Nick Gregory will be here tomorrow to keep you. Expecting heavy rainfall, probably the biggest danger, along with the tidal surge, which will raise the water levels along that very low coastline. You can see the path of the storm over the next several days. I would expect it to move into Georgia and then subsequently into the Carolinas and then on out to sea. The good news about hurricanes is that they get all their energy from the water. So once they move over land, they start to break down a little bit. We have some showers in the northwest today and also the central plains. Lots of sunshine down the desert southwest and much of the northeast will enjoy some sunshine too under a nice high pressure system. Most of the nation then will be in good shape, although as you can see, day today, but you can see down to the south of us, there's Hurricane Allison, first one of the season, which just began about four days ago. So uh, Allison, as you can see there, 40 miles southwest of Apalachicola, Florida right now, a maximum sustained winds at 75 miles an hour, moving north-northeast at 14 miles an hour. And we expect it to weaken after it makes landfall and turn into a tropical storm. Eventually, by midweek, that should be uh, giving us some showers. We expect in the areas where it's hitting right now to uh, get about five inches of rain. And the storm tides are going to be about five to eight feet above normal. So for tomorrow, we'll see uh, increasing clouds as uh, what's left of Allison begins to move toward us. And I think by Wednesday, we'll start seeing the showers with that. So your forecast for today, mostly sunny and pleasant, a little bit cooler along the shore, but we should make it up to about 84 degrees for the high temperature. Tonight, partly cloudy and cool, 67 in the city, low 60s in the suburbs, and in your five-day forecast, increasing clouds in 78 tomorrow. Then Wednesday, a chance of rain and a high up to uh, 75 degrees. 
Thursday, chance of morning showers and a high up to 78 degrees. Friday, partly sunny and 78. I guess we won't look at the five-day forecast. Oh, there it is. Saturday, mostly sunny, and we'll make it up to 81 degrees for the high temperature. Not too bad. Weekend worked out nicely. 72, humidity 55, the wind south 6, today's high 82, and today's low into 56 degrees. All right, let's take a look at some of the numbers on this storm, because once again, the storm is very, very impressive. You can see the action. There it is across the state of Georgia, everything heading to the north and east roughly now at around 14 miles per hour, 30 miles north and west, Valdosta, Georgia. The rain amounts 3 to 6 inches. The top winds of this storm now at 39 miles per hour. Let's track it, everybody. Here we go. Made landfall. You know that. That happened uh, earlier today. And once again, by tonight, the storm across Georgia by tomorrow makes a move early in the morning across the South Carolina border by tomorrow night Tuesday night like a shot it makes it off the Carolina Virginia coast and by Wednesday early say goodbye to Allison maybe scattered showers as we ride the northern fringe check the radar come with me to the south and east and you can see a lot of action a lot of pinwheeling going around the state of Georgia right now because there's a lot of moisture associated with this system it's raining now in southern Virginia again everything moving north and east at around 14 miles to 16 miles per hour, heavy thunderstorms, tornado watches, tornado warnings up across three states. All right, there's the tropical storm just downgraded to tropical depression. Again, this cold front suppresses to the south. The storm rides the front out to sea, kicks to the Virginia coast, then makes a bend away from us, scattered showers, and that's it by Wednesday early. The big box area, the tornado watch and warning covering Georgia, portions of South Carolina. Once again, that will not affect us as this storm swings out to sea, and that is the good news. So the forecast for the remainder as we get it going tonight, clouds We'll be uh, beginning to move in now. They'll thicken up by morning, 61 to 66, northwest 54 to 59. Let's get it going for tomorrow. Thickening cloudiness, that's the deal. During the day, we'll peak out right around 80 degrees. The normal should be 77. Let's talk five day right now. And the big story around here will not be a big story. I think that's good news. Tuesday, we'll mix it with sun and clouds. And maybe Tuesday night, early Wednesday, maybe a scattered shower or a thunderstorm into early Thursday. But you know what? This storm's going to be history. It will not make any more weather headlines in the next 12 to 24 hours. And the rest of the week looks fairly tranquil. So we're going to absolutely take this storm out to sea. Good. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Jimmy Johnson, what he was caught. Cloud cover over the sunshine tomorrow, but the wind will be coming in out of the southeast, so that'll keep it cooler than it was today. And then eventually, Allison will scoot by sometime on Wednesday morning, it looks like, so the best chance of rain tomorrow night on into the first part of Wednesday. And we should dry out temporarily after that. 69 to 73, lots of clouds, a little sun at the beach tomorrow. Southeast winds 50 knots, but seas will be increasing to 5 feet on the ocean. Yankee game tomorrow night, cloudy, only about 72 as they take on the A's. High clouds tonight, mild, 66 in the city, some mid-50s for those of you well north and west. Tomorrow when you wake up, a lot of clouds, I think. Again, not much sunshine, 69. A little more in the way of clouds again at lunchtime, 76 if we're lucky, and then cloudy during the evening. Here's the five-day forecast. The rain coming in tomorrow night, ending maybe about early Wednesday afternoon. 74 for the high on Wednesday. 82 with late-day thunderstorms Thursday, partly to mostly cloudy Friday with a few showers and maybe some more thunderstorms on Saturday. So even if I wasn't quite right this weekend, we're on top of things right now. Rosanna? Thank you, Nick. Okay. Well, this is a special night for a small home in Harlem with a big heart. They are. The storm quickly weakened. It did knock down some power lines, but no reports of injuries. The families of victims of the Oklahoma City bombing pleaded today for Congress to pass... Down now to a tropical depression outside our area, currently 71 degrees in clear skies at Central Park. Southwesterly winds at 10, relative humidity 49%, falling barometer, high for the day 83, low, to, low 63, no precipitation. Our neighborhood weather network taking a look up at Yorktown, 61 degrees, westerly winds at 12 miles per hour. And as we check out the radar, you'll see that we've got some showers pushing its way up the coast, that is all what's left of tropical storm before hurricane storm Allison. As the storm system right now works its way up the coast very slowly, it's picking up speed, getting ready to move out of the northeast at about 14 miles per hour. The cloud shield ahead of that, though, as you can see, starting to spread up into our area. Now, the storm itself still in Georgia with 75 miles uh, 75 mile south-southwest of Augusta, 30 mile per hour wind, so it is not even a tropical storm. It's moving to the northeast at about 16 miles per hour. By tomorrow, 
it's along the mid-Atlantic coast. Heavy rain there. Sh uh, we'll look for thickening clouds during the day in our area with some showers developing late tomorrow evening on into Wednesday morning. So for tonight, look for some clouds starting to move in. Temperatures upper 50s to the mid-60s. For tomorrow morning, thickening clouds. Temperatures mid-60s to about 70 degrees. So if you're thinking of heading out to the beach or the boat tomorrow, well, you're going to have southeasterly winds 15 to 20 knots. Choppy waves and water temperature 59 to 63 degrees. Your five-day forecast, thickening clouds tomorrow. Showers develop 79 degrees. Wednesday, the showers end, then some clearing in 74. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, temperatures mid to upper 70s. Partly cloudy. Chance of a late-day shower or two with variably cloudy skies. Time now to salute the folks in our area who do something to make life around here a little bit better. Baseball and other sports are supposed to... It's moving northeast at about 15 miles an hour, and here's the path. You'll follow, or it will follow, most likely the red path here, and that would put it by Wednesday, someplace just off the Jersey shoreline, enough to keep the clouds and still some showers starting Tuesday night and extending through Wednesday when it's closest to us and pulling away. It does look like the rain will be right along the coastline. Inland areas will get less and less until finally in central New York State and also Pennsylvania, you probably won't see any rain from it at all. 66 degrees, yeah, that's the inland expected for low temperature, 58 to 59 out toward the island and a lot farther inland will be 55, 57 degrees, sunrise at 525. No problem from that storm except a few clouds at that point early in the morning. More clouds and more clouds as the day goes on. 78 degrees is the high number. I would expect some sunshine to be breaking through the first part of the day, but not by the second part of the day, and then some rain will move in by tomorrow night. Patchy clouds at 7 o'clock in the morning, and then here comes what's left over of Allison, increasing clouds throughout the area. 78 degrees. Wednesday, still some showers and thunder showers as that rain pulls out of the way, and so does what's left of that first Hurricane of the Atlantic hurricane season. Okay. Sam, thank you. Thanks, Sam. Immediately, but yeah. we went to the sales. <laughs> sales. So you right. just don't keep lose that, buddy. perspective. Get it through her head. <laughs> well, this this day today has been a great day, and we have talked about getting some rain from what is the leftover remnants of Hurricane Allison. Mm -hmm. Not likely that we're going to see a lot. Maybe just a little bit. We're even tapering off even more now. So it's been a great day to get outside and enjoy your lunch particularly around a fountain. This is right around the corner from Rockefeller Center in Midtown. Sunshine outside, a beautiful day. It will continue to be beautiful throughout the afternoon. Here's what's going on at the noon hour. We have skies that are beautifully sunny. 80 degrees outside. It's warm. Humidity is dry. The barometer has been falling. The winds, however, continue to be coming in from the northeast at about 8 miles per hour. And a northeast wind that's going to be about an easterly flow to a southeasterly flow later on today. So that's going to keep the coastal sections a little cooler, just like 76 right here at the Twin Forks, 71 down the Jersey Shore. That's the effect this hour of that northeasterly wind. But look inland, 81 at Newark, 81 from White Plains northward all the way up to Poughkeepsie. So it's very warm in the Hudson River Valley. And some of those inland spots in northern Jersey are going to get above 80 to 82 as well later on this afternoon. Here's what's going on at noontime. Here's our current satellite picture. And we've really had... Nice high pressure all across the tri-state area. It's working its way out into the Atlantic. And from the south, here comes the remnants of Hurricane Allison. It's just spinning some clouds our way. And there have been some light showers. Cape May, Atlantic City have reported showers in the last hour. There have been some scattered showers around Wilmington, Delaware, right around the Delmarva Peninsula, over Maryland, northern sections of Virginia. And that rain is just kind of slowly moving up, but it is also moving to the east. Here's the next red precision radar. Watch. Showers moving up, but mostly they're moving out to the east. So we're expecting maybe a sprinkle or two likely to continue after midnight tonight along the Jersey Shore and Long Island. Those are the more likely spots. Inland areas might not even see any shower activity at all. Now, across the country, scattered thunderstorms and showers have been from the Great Lakes into the interior in northern Arkansas. Nice dry break across the plains. Another storm system coming into the northwest creating rain and snow. An inch of snow in northern Utah and northern Nevada, and that will continue throughout the day today. However, this afternoon, clouds are going to arrive. We'll be around 78 for our high in the city. Inland numbers will be around 80 and possibly above through the afternoon. Tonight, very mild with a few sprinkles beginning about midnight and afterwards into the early hours of tomorrow morning. So we call it a brief shower tonight, and that will be very late. And that really should be about it. Long Island, coastal sections of New Jersey probably going to see some sprinkles. Now, tomorrow, cloudy in the morning. And maybe a shower, not a big deal. Thursday afternoon, there might be an afternoon thunderstorm, those summertime type. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, lots of sunshine and lots of nice weather. Okay. All in all, looks pretty good. Yes, looks like this weekend will be the great weekend to get out of town. All good. right. Thanks, Thanks, Bill. Some rare red-tailed hawk inland out toward the west, and that's going to be the exact same story as this low continues to move toward the northeast tonight. There it is, the center of low pressure. It's also carrying a warm front, and that rain is tightly gathered right around in one little cluster. Next right precision radar is showing, though, there still are some heavy rains wrapped up with this low, and we're not saying that they're not there. Matter of fact, some areas in Suffolk County might get clipped in some of the heavier rain here, but you can see it's not a big 
big band of it, and you don't have to get but about 200 miles off the center before you're not getting any rain at all. So there will be portions of the region tonight that will get no rain, and that's basically north and west, or just some drizzle. But right along the coastline is the potential of getting some heavy rain, though most of us will probably never see it. You see there's a wide variation there, anywhere from a tenth of an inch to a half inch of rain. That's a big difference, and it's likely that when you're on the coastline, you'll see some of the rain offshore, may even get clipped by some. You'll also notice there could be some 25 mile per hour wind gusts, but the big difference will be when you're inland, nothing will be happening at all. And you'll say, hey, what's the big deal with what was left of Allison? Well, as it clips off the coastline, it will be bothering some folks tomorrow, but it'll be right around the Cape, and that's where temperatures will be about 10 degrees cooler than it will be here. It'll just be a humid mix for us. By midday tomorrow, some sunshine will break it through the clouds, and we'll be setting ourselves up for a cold front to move through by tomorrow night and maybe touch off some thunderstorms. Human mix all day. Again, allow yourself to have some clouds tonight and tomorrow morning with a heavier rain or the heavier doses of rain right along the coastline and out towards Suffolk County. Other than that, there's not much action with this storm, formerly known as Allison. 66 degrees, your early morning temperature, 64, 63 out toward the end of the island, 60 to 63 north and west. Again, that's what we see out of this thing right now as it continues to move out toward the Atlantic. 66, more clouds across the area tonight than you've seen at any point during today, and there will be some coastal rains. Early rain tomorrow morning will lead to clearing skies, but it'll take its time, so there'll always be some clouds breaking in with some sunshine tomorrow afternoon, and it gets humid at 86 degrees. Again, Thursday, the possibility of a thunder shower Friday and Saturday mixed skies. Bill. Thank you, Sam. Always known as champion. Tonight <laughs> at 11, medical news women need to... Again, just to our south and the line of thunderstorms that I just showed you on the satellite picture off to our west. All right, so that little storm moves just southeast of Montauk tomorrow. So the rain showers in the morning, then some sunshine comes out in the afternoon. In fact, those of you north and west of town may not even see any rain at all out of this system. And once that sun comes out, it's going to feel like the tropics. Warm, humid conditions tomorrow as temperatures get up into the 80s. A real sticky day. But then we'll watch that front drop on through Thursday. So a risk of thunderstorms late Wednesday night and then some drier air coming into the forecast on Thursday. The beach will have some rain in the morning and sunshine in the afternoon tomorrow. Very humid, 75 to 80. Winds north and west at 15 knots. Seas still choppy, especially out on the ocean. Some light rain in our forecast overnight again, especially if you're south of the city. North of town, you may not see anything at all. 66 for the low in town, 60 to 65 in the suburbs. Tomorrow could be that area of rain, city south and east, 67. Then some sun will break through around lunchtime, but steamy. 78 at lunchtime with a high at 86 degrees. Still steamy tomorrow evening as well. Five-day forecast. Some thunderstorms could arrive after midnight and then breezy on Thursday. 84 degrees will be the temperature, and then we'll look for 80 on Friday with some partly sunny weather. Now, the weekend, now don't get too concerned. There are some thunderstorms in the forecast, but it's not a complete washout, and I'll tell you more about that tomorrow night. Rosanna and Tony? All right, we're not concerned yet. Thanks, Nick. All right, Carl's up next with more on the condition of... We're talking about cloudy skies out there, 69 degrees at Central Park. Our winds out of the northeast at 6, relative humidity, 94% barometer falling. High for the day, 82, low 66, no precipitation. Our neighborhood weather network, we've got uh, three different high schools. Right now, let's take a look at Hewlett High School in southern Nassau County. They've picked up two hundredths of an inch of rain out there with an easterly breeze, a temperature... Excuse me? <laughs> Were we singing there? Yeah, all my troubles seem so far. Oh, okay. Uh, easterly winds are about four miles per hour. Let's look at the rest of the statistics. Uh, 69 in Rigo Park, 66 in Manasquan and Holbrook, 67. Same in West Orange. Next Rad 4, well, you can see the little band of rain coming up from what's left of Tropical Storm, the earlier Hurricane Allison. Those showers working their way in here. As the system moves off to the east, we will get some bands of showers late tonight on into tomorrow morning, and that should clear off. We're going to have hazy, hot, humid conditions tomorrow, and that's going to last through pretty much right on into the weekend. And in fact, if you're going to be standing outside tomorrow around noon. As you can see, the area is in yellow, the, much of our tri-state area. Right around 30 minutes it would take for you to get a bad burn if you use no sunscreen or don't cover up with protective clothing. So make sure you're careful out there tomorrow. Our forecast for tonight, showers, fog, especially along the southern shore of Long Island and Connecticut. Temperatures low to mid-60s for the overnight lows. Tomorrow morning, showers should taper off. Patchy fog, temperatures in the low to mid-70s. Boat and beach forecast for you tomorrow. Westerly winds 10 to 15 knots, uh, 4 to 5 foot waves on the ocean, 3 to 4 feet on the sound, 59 to 62, the water temperature. Five days ahead for you. It's going to be humid on Wednesday, as we said, after the showers and maybe the thunderstorms move out. Then on Thursday, breezy, a high of 83. Friday looks good with sunshine. 84 degrees, Saturday and Sunday, hazy, hot, humid. Afternoon thunderstorms, just a possibility. Temperatures in the mid-80s.
Time northeast. We are already seeing some clouds out of it. Let's see who gets the rain. 69 degrees outside right now. Relative humidity at 94%. So we are stacking some moisture in the skies tonight, just not falling in many locations yet. The barometer is falling as an area of low pressure, which was the hurricane, is moving offshore. Northeastern winds at 6 miles per hour along the edge of the coastline, and that's just the Jersey Shore and probably out toward the end of the island. Some gusts overnight as the system passes us to the east could get up to about 25 miles per hour. 82 degrees, the warmest number of the day at 3.30 this afternoon. 66 degrees had been our low temperature. As a matter of fact, we're back on our way to 66 degrees as a low temperature. 70 right now, LaGuardia. 70 in Newark. If you're out toward the end of the island, at 67 degrees. Riding up the Hudson River Valley, also into Connecticut, 65 to 66 degrees this evening. Satellite picture will show you there are plenty of clouds rotating just offshore. You can see how close that dry edge is here, and it's right all the way back up through northern. Looks like New Jersey also in the lower Hudson Valley. These clouds are not really associated with this. There are some spiraling bands of rain well down to the south of us. And again, the heaviest hit area seemed to be the Carolina as this area of low pressure was pushing an awful lot of rain in that region. Columbia, South Carolina coming in with the highest rainfall total of the day with about five and a half inches of rain. And you can see that's the heavier rain right off the shoreline now moving out to the Atlantic. Some of these bands are rotating slightly back toward the northwest and that would allow some of this rain to get very close to the city, even the Jersey Shore and out on Long Island. There's not a whole lot of rain to be found for most of us here, but right on the shoreline, particularly Suffolk County, you could see some heavier rainfall totals anywhere from a half inch of rain to just a little bit above. But if you're in Rockland, Westchester County, also Sussex County in New Jersey, doubtful you'll see anything out of this system as it continues to cruise. It will park itself off the Cape tomorrow, and that'll keep Boston, Cape Cod cloudy and about 10 degrees cooler than it will be here. 66 degrees is your starting temperature, but this is tropical air behind that system, so with any sunshine at all, we're to the races with the temperatures. It will be hot, sticky, and humid in the afternoon, and then late tomorrow night, cold front comes down and will fire up some thunderstorms. 66 degrees, cloudy, coastal rain, 7 o'clock in the morning, 86 degrees, and could be a bit higher in central New Jersey. Early rain will leave way to clearing, but it is humid and even tropical feeling by afternoon that could touch off some late night thunderstorms on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Mixed skies. Okay, Sam, thank you very much. When we come back in a moment, high fact. Morning, it was just gray and rainy. Drizzly, and, yeah. Yeah. Well, you could be out where Larry is right now. It looks like they need some serious gnat repellent out there. There they are. I saw Larry swatting just a few minutes ago, and I think uh, probably the little insects are getting to them. Helps out if there. you take a shower, though. <laughs> Larry <laughs> often has gnats <laughs> <laughs> flying around yeah. his head. <laughs> Do I get my moment? You know, guess, there guess, he is. Wait a second. I'm going to give you one guess here. Who would the gnats not light on, huh? Why? Who would they not light on? I don't 8 degrees, 96% relative humidity, winds out of the north at 10, and the barometer 29.58 and falling. Take a look at your forecast map for today. You'll see that low pressure system off the coast. That is the remnants of Hurricane Alice and another cold front back across the Great Lakes. You can see the large mass of clouds associated with uh, the remnants of Hurricane Allison moving over the area right now. Underneath that, we see the showers just sort of nipping along the coast there so the inland areas aren't going to see the clearing a little bit earlier than uh, the coastal areas and then tomorrow we see another cold front having dropped down through the area so some scattered showers overnight tonight your forecast for today shapes up like this morning rain and uh, then becoming partly sunny it's going to be warm and humid with a high up to 83 degrees tonight partly cloudy and mild a chance of a scattered shower 70 in the city will be down in the low 60s in the suburbs and in your five-day forecast part Continued warm tomorrow with a high up to 83. Not bad on Friday, 82 and mostly sunny. Saturday, partly cloudy with a chance of a shower and a high to 85. Sunday, partly sunny and 82. And then Monday, chance of showers and a high up to 84 degrees. Not bad weather for getting out there on your mountain bike. All right, Jules, thank you. Well, despite the falling. Take a look at your forecast map for today. You'll see we've got a low pressure system off the coast. That's the remnants of Hurricane Allison. Cold front back across the Great Lakes will be coming through, bringing us some more showers. You can see the clouds associated with that uh, low pressure system that's moving off the coast, still overspreading the area. But underneath, we've got the showers just along the coastal areas now and continuing to move off to sea. So we should see it clear out by the afternoon hours. But by tomorrow, we'll have seen another cold front pass through the area and bring us a few showers scattered. Some outside now, and the rain is finally gone. However, there can just be some rain out across Long Island. So it's looking pretty good now on the west side. We have skies that are still cloudy. A little sun starting to break through at 76. But the humidity this morning was at 100%. So it's been drying out somewhat now. The barometer has been falling a little bit because 
The storm itself is still pulling away, and it's low pressure, so with that low pressure, the barometer remains low. Winds are north at 9, and that's the counterclockwise motion of the low. Here are the record highs and record lows for this date. And here are the temperatures at this noon hour. 80 at Newark now, 77 in northern Jersey and at White Plains, 78 at LaGuardia, 72 at Islip and down the Jersey Shore. It is 75. Here's the next Rad Precision Radar. There's still a few scattered showers working their way out now across eastern Long Island out toward the Twin Forks. It's likely that coastal Connecticut from Mystic eastward to Rhode Island up toward Boston still going to see showers through the afternoon. Across the country, there's a big low. That's the remnants of Hurricane Allison still working its way out. But the clouds now are breaking. You can see it's clearing out across eastern Pennsylvania and western New Jersey and heading on out to sea. That's good news. Filling in behind that is weak high pressure. And a cold front is trying to sag down out of the Great Lakes and work its way in behind that. What we're going to see is cool air and drier air slowly working its way in with this frontal system through the next 24 to 48 hours. Here's the next Rad Precision Radar. There's some scattered showers that's right here in the northern portion of the country, right around Minneapolis-St. Paul with this low-pressure system that's going to work its way into the Great Lakes while the cooler air is sagging down behind that. Forecast map. Here's what's going to happen for the afternoon. It will be humid. It's very sticky outside. The afternoon will be humid. At least we'll finally get some sunny breaks. Then this frontal system is going to plow on, kaplow, kapow, plow on through and give us some drier air for tomorrow. Highs today in the mid 80s. In Newark, it's going to be around 88. A little cooler out toward the Twin Forks, where I doubt if Montauk ever comes out of the clouds of the Twin Forks for today. Overnight, mild temperatures, mostly mid 60s to around 70. Tomorrow is going to be a much better day. Tonight, however, warm and humid 70. Tomorrow, we'll see sunshine returning, and it's going to be less humid tomorrow with an 82 for the high. Now, we could have a thunderstorm in the morning with that front passing by, but that's going to be widely scattered. Sunshine through the weekend. Now, it'll be warm and humid on Sunday and Monday, so we might have an afternoon thunderstorm on those days. But otherwise, the weather forecast for the entire week looking really good to get All in the old right. car and go Excellent. for a drive. Great. Okay. Thank Thanks, you, Bill. Bill. All right. Coming up next on Eyewitness News, a window in your office. Right, the only uh, one. What's up with that? No, the shades were down. That oh, was what were you doing that. in there all day with the shades <laughs> down, the door shutting? We're shutting the wall now. I was, <laughs> before this goes any further, it started out a little cloudy. It was kind of rough at points today. Looking at the sky, waiting for it to break open with sunshine. Finally, it did this afternoon, and the numbers took off. 87 degrees outside right now. There are some parts of the area that are at 90 degrees at this moment. Relative humidity at 41%, which is not you know, really that uncomfortable. It's, it's a little humid for this, uh, this kind of number. And the barometer is falling at this point as we lose that area of low pressure right off the coast of uh, Massachusetts at this point. Northeastern winds at 3 miles an hour, 87 degrees, where, where we are right now. The warmest number we've reported so far today, 65 degrees early this morning as the low temperature. Other numbers around town, there's a 90. Newark degrees, at Newark at 90 degrees, or Newark degrees at 90. 80 out toward Islip, 87 degrees on the Jersey shoreline, 81 toward Danbury, Connecticut. Next Rad Precision Radar, and we'll show you where the storms and showers are. Still holding just off the eastern seaboard, but far enough away, it took almost all day to get them off Long Island. But now, as they continue to move toward the Atlantic, they're just bothering the Cape and keeping the Cape and Boston about 10 degrees cooler. Boston, a lot of north, northern New England not really coming out of the 60s today, while as we just showed you, Newark Airport and points down to uh, Washington, D.C., coming up with 90-degree readings. This is a severe thunderstorm watch box. It's out for a good portion of Pennsylvania. These are strong, heavy thunderstorms that are building in that direction. And as we talk about the air that we sit with tonight, in becoming increasingly humid overnight, some of these thunderstorms could wander very close to us and others could pop up. But I think at best we're going to get a spot thunder shower tonight. More likely as a cold front passes through tomorrow, it could deliver one or two thunder showers at that point. Here's a look at what we expect or what we have seen so far of rainfall totals. What we had last night throughout today, not much in the way of rain, but we weren't expecting much in most of the region. But out toward the end of the island, an inch of rain reported anywhere from Sag Harbor, also toward East Hampton, South Hampton, Bridgehampton, that area getting a hit with a heavy rainfall. Also down in southern New Jersey in many, many places, about an inch and a half of rain. So just exactly as we expected, this system was a coastline system and continues to move up and out of our way and cleared beautifully. Now, take a look at what's going on, and this is a little bizarre for this time of year. The 90s and lots of them down in the deep south, and you say, that's okay, but take a look at the cold air that's waiting back up to the northwest. They are still getting strong out of season snowstorms in Montana. Five inches of heavy wet snow in a lot of places. And again, just last night, eight inches of snow in the Cascades. And yesterday afternoon, the same type of thing. These people can't wait to get rid of this cold air. And right now, the way the jet stream is running and even a cold front setting up right across the middle of the country, they're not going to get rid of it in a hurry. This is really unusual to see the boundary here. Such an extreme difference between the northwest and temperatures much, much colder than normal and the deep south and southeast with temperatures much warmer than normal. 70 degrees for us, and it's a beautiful 
night. Warm and humid a little bit, but by tomorrow, humidity is full strong. So it's gonna, really going to be a little uncomfortable at that point. And uh, 62 degrees by tomorrow night, patchy clouds and cooler. There is a possibility tomorrow afternoon of a thunder shower moving through, and we'll talk about that when we come back. All right, see you then. Okay. Thank you, Sam. Well, the weather's not the only thing that's hot. The entire hip-hop culture is... Big screens, they're setting up for that big Pocahontas showing. Uh, Saturday night, Central Park, 86. Sunny skies out there right now. Our winds currently out of the north at three miles per hour as we put the Venetian blind in effect, 45% of relative humidity. Steady barometer, high for the day. That got up to 86 degrees, 87 de uh Okay, well, anyway, it was pretty hot. Uh, 90 degrees right now, Lindhurst High School, according to our neighborhood weather net. Uh, three mile per hour winds out of the north. They picked up two hundredths of an inch of rain last night. Right now, around the rest of our tri state area, we've got 90 at Newark, at Masspeth, Queens, 86, Seagird, 84, Comac, Long Island, 32, Wilton, Connecticut, checking in with a temperature of 79 degrees. Well, there goes Tropical Storm Hurricane Allison off the coast. We got big storm system out west where they're getting snow in some parts of Montana. As you can see, they've got flooding up through Montana, funnel clouds through the northwest, record lows through the southwest, and then we've got more humidity on top of us with showers and thunderstorms trying to push this way. Jet stream, band of air, 20,000 feet above the Earth's surface. Well, it is up to our north, and so what that means is we're going to be looking at very warm air, sultry down south, and that's going to be working its way toward us. So tomorrow, a nice day, sunshine, although as the front moves through, we could see an afternoon shower or thunderstorm, but behind that, drier air, but not cooler air, because as you can see, the jet stream, uh, as we get into Saturday, still remains up to the north, so the heat will continue. Forecast for tonight, look for overnight lows that will be dropping back mid-60s to low 70s, chance of a shower and some patchy fog. Overnight, uh, looks like a pretty mild one, but by tomorrow morning, sunshine, humidity returns, temperatures in the low to upper 70s, so a scorcher it looks like starting off for much of the day tomorrow. And in fact, the beach and boat forecast, uh, northwesterly winds 15 to 20 knots, water temperature 59 to 63 degrees, and as far as your five days ahead, Near 90 here in town tomorrow. Afternoon shower, thunderstorm possible with that front pushing through. Friday, cooler. Uh, temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, but then Saturday, sunshine, 80s. Sunday, mid 80s. Chance of thunderstorms again on Monday and a temperature of 82 degrees. So it looks like summer is really entrenched now here in yeah, the Tri-State area. Great weekend. Great for Pocahontas, too. Yes. All right. They're not going to be there, though. I don't think so. <laughs> Oh, you and 100,000 of your adoring no, fans. I'm going to wait till I went to New York. Oh, you and one for me, and I'll tell you the weather. I doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I guess you'll just have to wait like everybody else for the forecast then, won't you? Actually, it looks pretty good for the forecast this weekend, despite what I was thinking last night, but that's why you tune in every night to see when it changes. Let's look at the stats for the day. It did get uh, quite humid today, though. 87, some rain early. 65, the low this morning. We had about a tenth of an inch here in the city. 95 and 47, the record high and record low. Right now, it's mostly clear. There are some clouds to our west, but a very warm 80 degrees. Now, the humidity is saying 54%. That doesn't seem that uncomfortable, but this is where dew point becomes a factor. Anytime it gets above 60, it starts to get kind of sticky out there. Wind is calm, barometer 29.57, and it is rising. Okay, look at the satellite review now, and you can see that we do have, again, some clouds that have sort of been uh, passing to our south and east. Actually, that's the wrong base map, so we'll kind of blow on past that. But that, you can see, is Allison that is moving uh, from the uh, south uh, to the northeast and moving away from us. But here are the thunderstorms again that are causing some troubles in western Pennsylvania tonight. Those uh, clouds actually uh, change back to snow clouds when you get towards Montana. It is only in the 30s and 40s there. Very unseasonal type weather going on in Montana. And as we continue our weather flight, you'll find that there are some more showers and thunderstorms. And some of these mean business across a good part of the uh, central areas of uh, old Kentucky and into parts of Ohio tonight. Here's some thunderstorms again. You can see how these have died out to our west and some more that are building in western Pennsylvania. So we're not completely out of the... Uh, what was that? <laughs> we could completely get out of this uh, thunderstorm area until later on. All right, here's our weather map tonight. There goes Allison, or what's left of it, with another front dropping down. Warm, humid air coming up. Cooler, dry air coming down from the north. And again, that combination is still going to put us under the gun for possibility of a few scattered showers and thunder showers as that front comes on through. There's the thunder showers tonight. And by tomorrow, again, you'll see just the risk. Otherwise, it is going to feature some sunshine in the forecast. And then eventually, that dry air takes over, especially as we move on into Friday, where temperatures 80s tomorrow will cool back into the 70s though as we get on into Friday. And basically, if you're heading out on the seas tomorrow, we expect oh, about five-foot seas on the ocean, two-foot seas on the sound. Temperatures 78 to 85 degrees. Here's my forecast overnight. Maybe a shower, thunder shower. Otherwise, partly cloudy, 71 in town, and some low 60s north and west. Wake-up time, partly sunny and humid. 
Lunchtime, partly sunny, but the risk of a shower or thunderstorm. It should come up here in just a second. There it is, about high, 86 degrees. Tomorrow, still humid and then drying out later in the day. Here's the five-day forecast. Friday looks great. Saturday looks pretty good. Sunday, not too bad. 70s to the low 80s, turning humid at the end of the weekend. Next chance of rain. Be some little extra high tides tonight because of the position of the moon. High tides will run anywhere from one to a foot and a half, and in some cases, two feet above normal. If you're normally affected by extra high tides, you'll know what to do in that situation. Know that that is a possibility in all high tide times through Wednesday. Take a look at the numbers. There's 64 degrees, relative humidity high at 78 percent. The barometer's rising at this point, and we are seeing some showers still holding on, certainly with the clouds. North winds at five miles per hour. 93 would have been a Record 72 was the warmest number we recorded today, and that was just after midnight. As a cold front moved through here today, the numbers have dropped since then. Oh, we also need to tell you that by the end of the week, there will be some warmer air in here. It may take a little while to get through the clouds, though. Tuesday's a day where we'd like to say it's a day of clearing, and hopefully there will be some sun breaking through in the afternoon, but it'll really take Wednesday before the heat comes back up to no almost normal levels, and then by Friday, it'll be a little bit above with plenty of sunshine at 82 degrees. Now let's deal with what's out there. Satellite picture will show you there's a line of clouds that goes all the way up and down the East Coast. Eastern seaboard has been socked in today, and even though there's an area of high pressure not too far away from us, the front that's been sitting right on the coastline has been dropping some heavy rain, even some showers and thunderstorm form, for a good part of the day today. The heaviest has been down in the Carolinas, and that's where the last impulse of low pressure is forming that will have to travel along this cold front, and that front is not going to budge until this low has finally moved clear of us and starts to pull this front out of the way. Only then will it allow the area of high pressure that's sitting in the Ohio River Valley to clear the skies out and give us a nice looking end of the week. Now, time that out for you. It does appear that it's going to take through tonight and tomorrow morning before we get to the end of the rain and the showers. And finally, tomorrow afternoon, we'll see some clouds beginning to break and allowing some sunshine through. There's still some embedded heavier rains down to the south, so I would leave in the possibility tonight as you're running around also tomorrow morning that there will be some rain showers around and in some cases heavier rain. Some of the computer forecast guidance models are showing us anywhere up to a half inch of rain, particularly along the coastline before 8 o'clock in the morning. So just know there will be some showers and in some cases, is heavier showers, though the bulk of it is already off toward the Atlantic. What does it shape up, or as far as the rain we've seen, anywhere from an inch to two and a half inches of rain across the region? And again, it looks like some places will pick up more than half an inch of rain before tomorrow morning. Slow clearing is the trend tomorrow. We'd like to say it breaks completely by tomorrow afternoon, and if we're lucky, it will, but it depends on the speed of that low pressure. That one right there, as it moves up the coastline, it will finally pull those clouds out of the way. And it could be Wednesday morning before it happens, so expect some clouds tomorrow. 57 degrees, clouds and rain tonight. It's cool, though, out there. Early Early clouds should lead to late sunshine tomorrow, and rain should be out of the picture by tomorrow at noon. And after this thing leaves, the rest of the week is beautiful. We're in for a run of warm. As far as the winds go, northerly breeze at about 5 miles per hour, 72 degrees, the warmest number of the day, but it came just after midnight. Well, we've been as low as 58 degrees, and that was about at 8 o'clock tonight. We will tell you there is better news by the end of the week. Tomorrow, we're still a little iffy on. Will this thing really clear out by afternoon and give us some sunshine? Even if it does, it's not likely we get much above 74 degrees. But the following day, Days, that temperature goes up as the sunshine increases until by Friday we're at about 82 degrees. Satellite picture will show you those clouds that are hanging tough right up against the coastline. And again, that cold front is just offshore. We've watched these clouds crawl toward the coast and then stay put over the last couple of hours. They're just not moving much at all. Area of low pressure that at this point is just off the Delmarva Peninsula is the last one along this cold front. So as it moves through and clears the region by tomorrow night, it will pull the clouds and rain completely out of the picture. I actually think most of the heavier rain will miss us overnight tonight and stay out in the Atlantic. It just looks like it's already headed that way. Next Rat Precision Radar will show you again how the heavier rain is not even clipping into western Jersey. A lot of places will stay dry tonight and just see some drizzle. But again, for those counties right on the Atlantic that we mentioned, it is likely that you will see some showers at some point overnight tonight. Heaviest rain is already done for. In a lot of cases, we came in with more than an inch of rain. Even that was helped by those strong thunderstorms of last night, which gusted through here with about 60 to 70 mile per hour winds as well. 57 degrees, early morning low temperature. Call it the same way out toward the Twin Forks. Sunrise at 524, and there's still quite a few clouds out. You could be lucky north and west and already be breaking into some sunshine. The problem is with that front hanging tough right along the shoreline, it's going to be tough for the rest of us to get into clearer skies, and it may take until tomorrow afternoon before we start to break it up and allow some sunshine to get through the clouds. So we're going to go ahead and put that in and say 74 is about the best we can do with a healthy dose of clouds and a little bit of sunshine coming in between. But it looks better for the days following that as that high pressure 
quickly comes right out of the Ohio River Valley and drops right on top of us, keeps our skies clear for the rest of the week, and will slowly allow us to warm temperatures up each day. Accurate, the forecast shapes up like this, and again, you start tonight with 57 degrees, mostly cloudy as an early morning low temperature and a sky conditioned shower should be ending at that point. For the rest of the day, it's 74 degrees tomorrow. Early clouds will deliver some late sunshine. Again, we're optimistic with that, but we think it'll actually happen. It'll happen first west and last out toward the end of the island. But Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, they're coming up on our upcoming forecast. And in case I forgot to point out, the Power Rangers will be at Nassau Coliseum starting tomorrow night. All right, let's check the stats for the day as the clouds are still around, but getting out of here in a good fashion now. 70, the high, 58, the low. Again, normal high now should be about 80. We had about two hundredths of an inch of rain. 96 and 51, the record high and record low in New York City. Right now, it's cloudy with a, just a few showers scattered here and there. 63 degrees, the dew point 58, humidity still up at 83%. Wind out of the east and the barometer 2981, and that's a good sign now. It's starting to rise as, again, we try to get some of that better weather in here. All right, here's a shot of the eastern seaboard tonight. Thunderstorms that extend from the Atlantic right on down to South Florida and right up along this frontal system. And again, we're sort of right on the edge of that here as we put these clouds into motion. You can see the trend is basically moving from the south to the north with just a little of an eastward push to them. This is what's left. Once this passes out, things should be getting a little bit better as we go on into our forecast for the next uh, 12 to 24 hours. In fact, look at as we fly back westward, lots of clear weather across the Ohio Valley as we move back into the Plain States, and then we pop up with these thunderstorms here in Colorado and Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch in effect now for the next two hours in western Nebraska and Colorado. But this system that's causing these problems is a long way off from affecting the New York metropolitan area. In fact, the satellite showing you again that we have some really nice weather moving in, except for these clouds that are starting to drop down onto Canada. I'll explain about those clouds in just a minute. All right, here's the radar goes into motion. You can see the scattered light showers here and there. Most of them, as has been the case all day, east of the city, extending up into eastern New England. And once they get out of here, things will be looking better. All right, the front tonight located just offshore. And again, we've had these little waves of low pressure that have been moving up along it. There's one now sitting to the southeast of Montauk and that band of rain that is still uh, with that area of low pressure from the Delmarva Peninsula out into southeastern sections of New England. All right, those clouds I was telling you about earlier, that's a front that's dropping down from Canada, a weak front with just a few showers that are scattered along it. In fact, you'll see that system move out tomorrow. This front get a little closer. So we'll have sunshine mixing with clouds, and this front may trigger a little shower, a thunder shower late in the afternoon, but I wouldn't worry about it. And temperatures with that sunshine returning tomorrow should get back up into the 80s. And then by Thursday, that high really builds in. It is going to be one of the top 10 days of the year, I think, on Thursday. Sunshine, but a little cooler as the wind comes in off the water, and eventually we'll be warming up down the road. Speaking of water, heading to the shore tomorrow, watch out for a scattered late day thunderstorm, otherwise partly sunny, 74 to 79 with a northwesterly wind. Seas running two to three feet, and the water temperature now in the mid 60s and Mets on the Marlins tomorrow night, mostly sunny at 75 degrees at 740. Becoming partly cloudy by morning, 59 in town, 53 to 58 on the island, and 50 to 55 north and west. Clouds and sun at wake-up time, 61 degrees. Clouds and some sunshine mixing up again at lunchtime, about 73, the high 80. And then just before rush hour, that chance of a thunder shower, otherwise some sunshine and clouds, 76. Here's the five-day forecast. And you'll see a great day on Thursday, coming up with 78 degrees. Great day on Friday, 81 degrees, morning low 59. And the humidity returns for the weekend. But I think for the most part now, it's going to dry out. Remember last night, uh, John and Roseanne, I said, if you just stick around long enough, I might change the weekend forecast. And I did. Maybe a thunderstorm on Sunday. All righty, thank you. Of course, you could change it again tomorrow. And I'm happy I just might. <laughs> I just might. <laughs> who the heck? Grizzly details, though, were too much for one alternate juror who rushed from the room as the coroner testified. We have more from Jada Dapper, who joins us live from Los Angeles. JD? Well, good evening, Diana. As you know, journalists got to see all of the autopsy photos yesterday, but jurors have seen these photos only a few at a time, spread out over the last four days of testimony. Now, today, they saw some of the most ghastly photos yet, and that sent one juror running from the room. One day after the anniversary of his son's death, Fred Goldman returned to the courtroom this afternoon to hear further description of how his son was savagely murdered. Basically, the stab wound entered the right chest in the area which I just showed you, went through a rib, the seventh rib, went through the lung, the right lung. But as Fred Goldman began to sob, one of the two remaining alternate jurors could take no more and walked out. Uh, I think maybe we need to... Judge Ito took a recess and then spoke to jurors when they returned. This has been difficult testimony the last several days. And if at any time 
during these proceedings you feel uncomfortable and you need to take a break, just let me know. The disruption came as Dr. Lakshmanan Sadia Vigishran spent an unprecedented seventh day on direct examination, discussing, among other things, why he believes Ron Goldman's face was poked five times with a knife. It could have been inflicted to check whether he was still uh, uh, alive or not. That would be one conclusion I would draw also. But before the day began, defense attorneys argued the coroner's testimony had already gone on too long. Your Honor, this appears to be an unprecedented marathon to present evidence that uh, is readily susceptible of reading from a crystal ball. Shapiro asked Ito to force the prosecution to finish. Ito declined, but let it be known he was growing weary as well. And Mr. Kelberg, you may conclude your direct examination. I take the not very subtle hint. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, not a very subtle hint and apparently not a very effective one either because the prosecution did not finish their direct examination of the coroner today. That is expected to happen tomorrow with the subject being the time of death, one of the most crucial and contentious issues in this trial. We're live in Los Angeles tonight, J.D. Daffer, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, J.D. And back in New York City, police say they've caught an armed bandit who had a specialty. He robs boutiques. Police have this composite sketch of a man they... One or two. We show you some pictures tonight as we walk over to the wall of the Upper East Side. The cultural and the nine cultural institutions along Upper Fifth Avenue celebrated the 17th annual Museum Mile Festival. Now, with the avenues closed to all traffic, the museum opens from 6 to 9, free of charge. And this year, by the way, the uh, Metropolitan Museum of Art celebrates its 125th anniversary. So, sorry, we showered on a lot of folks tonight. <laughs> Wherever you were doing tonight, you had to dodge a few raindrops. 62 degrees outside right now, relative humidity at 85 percent. The barometer's rising at this point, and we're trying to move those areas of low pressure off our shoreline. East winds at about 6 miles per hour. 70 degrees was the warmest number of the day. The winds, by the way, are switching around to the southeast, and that's a pretty good sign. It means we are moving those lows offshore. 58 degrees had been the cooler part of the last 24 hours. Other numbers around town, you ask, and we can deliver that one. It's easy. Northern Corners coming in with about 58 degrees to the 60 out toward the end of the island, 64 degrees on the Jersey shoreline. And much, once you make the drive up to Connecticut, it looks like a lot of the suburban communities are coming in all the way to Danbury at about 60 degrees. Satellite picture will show you the clouds and the pockets of clouds that are still around the area, the remnants of this system that's well offshore. And when this area of low pressure that's just sitting off the Jersey shoreline finally begins to move out of the way overnight tonight, it continues its slow path northeast. It will pull the moisture out, but it's going to be after midnight, probably more toward 1 o'clock in the morning, when all the sprinkles start to dry up. Now it's even going to be later than that if you're out on the island. From Nassau to Suffolk County, as late as 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning, you're still going to have to put up with one or two showers. But slowly the drier air filters in for all of us. Next Rat Precision Radar, taking a quick look at what's been going on out there for the past few hours, shows that rain just heading northeast and still some pockets of showers around the region that we've got to get through and we'll manage to do that. 59 degrees will be your early morning start temperature. Sunrise at 524 in the morning. And at that point, we think most of us are breaking out with some sunshine between the clouds. But again, it'll take Take longer to get that off the eastern sections like the island. Mixed skies to 80 degrees tomorrow. We've got one week cold front coming through, but it shouldn't cause much trouble and should allow sunshine to get through between some patchy clouds. 59 degrees, partly sunny showers will be east of the city out on the island mostly by 7 o'clock in the morning, but tapering off. Sun and clouds, 80 degree high. UB, northeasterly winds at 5, relative humidity 57%. Our barometer is falling. High for the day, 74, low 61, one hundredth of an inch of rain. And as we look at our Neighborhood Weather Network at Hewlett High School, the southern shore of Nassau County. They're at 71. They've picked up nine hundredths of an inch of rain so far today with north northeasterly winds at about three miles per hour. Rest of our tri state area temperature 73 in Inwood, Tuckered in 69, up in Armonk 66, Norwalk, Connecticut, a temperature of 71 degrees. Next, Rad 4, the low pressure system that was moving away actually backed up a little bit, so we got some showers during the day. Now we've got a weak cold front pushing through, so some showers and thunderstorms tonight, but then good news, things clear clear out. And for those of you looking for summertime temperatures, hey, check it out. Jet stream, band of air, 20,000 feet above the Earth's surface. It is way up to our north, and so that's just going to allow the warm, sultry air to filter on in. It's going to continue that way right on into the weekend. We have no changes coming as far as the warm weather is concerned over the next five days. So here's what we have for you. For tonight, few showers still left around, maybe a thunderstorm, low 50s north and west, mid to upper 50s along the coast, 60 here in town and in southern New Jersey. Tomorrow morning, partly cloudy, a spritz or two left eastern Long Island and eastern Connecticut. Of course, uh, 
We're looking for our boat and beach forecast. And tomorrow, well, not too bad. Northwesterly winds, 10 to 15 knots. Water temperature, 64 to 68. And it's looking good right for the waves. Very, very light. One to two feet on the ocean. About a foot in Long Island Sound. Five days ahead, the showers end early tomorrow. Then partly sunny, 78. Gorgeous on Friday, sunny and 86 degrees. Great news for the U.S. Open out in Shinnecock, uh, eastern Long Island. Saturday, partly sunny, 84. Showers and thunderstorms possible late in the day on Sunday, 84. And on Monday, sunshine and 79 degrees. So all in all, looking like we've got a real summertime weekend coming up. Good. Great. We could use it. Thank you, Al. Well, a school, a church, and a bar with go-go dancers, not necessarily a welcome part of the mix. The fight to end it all coming up next. Also, let